Hello and welcome to today's Ninja Trader Ecosystem webinar event with Chris Lawson of Lizard Indicators. My name is Tiffany and I am a platform representative at Ninja Trader. I'd like to mention that it is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading commodity future contracts in Forex. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you and will depend on your specific circumstances and financial resources. It is possible to lose all funds deposited with your broker and can even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at the link provided for more information or for a copy of the CFTC full risk disclosure. Also, please remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation nor recommendation, but simply educational in nature. This webinar is presented by NinjaTrader LLC, which is the te technology company responsible for developing and supporting the NinjaTrader trading software. Brokerage related questions should be directed to the NinjaTrader brokerage. With new tools added nearly every day, NinjaTrader ecosystem is home to hundreds of apps and services. You can quickly and easily find the tools or services you're looking for with a simple keyword search. You'll also find information about upcoming webinars in an on-demand video archive to view event recordings at the link provided. For up-to-date information, be sure to like or follow NinjaTrader on all social media platforms. NinjaTrader is always free for advanced charting, strategy backtesting, and trade simulation. And if you're just getting started with NinjaTrader, we offer free live training on a daily basis. We are very excited for this unique event in which Chris will demonstrate candlestick patterns and what to look for when identifying potential trade setups. Thanks again for your attendance today. And without further ado, it is my pleasure to welcome to the NinjaTrader webinar room, Chris. Please take it away, Chris. Great. Yeah, so uh, hello from Berlin, Germany. Everyone, uh, that's uh, me to the left here. We're a team of two at Lizard Indicators. So uh, we have our market lizard here to the to the right, Harry, also known as Fat Tails. So I'll just start off uh, here with a quick look at uh, what we offer. First, uh, there is uh, the Indicator Spotlight, where we feature some of the tools that uh, you can find in our Indicator library for. Ninja Trader 8, uh, usually just a blog post with a video explanation of a trading setup uh, or some concept for from technical analysis. Um, you then get a free download uh, that you can review on your end. As for the library itself, I think it's pretty much the, the go-to resource uh, for the Ninja Trader community by now. Open source tools here, about uh, 150 indicators all available for a one-time flat fee of uh, 150 bucks. And finally, we have the premium suite. And to, today we'll introduce a new tool from that section, the candlestick pattern indicator. But uh, before we get uh, to that, let's have a look at uh, why patterns are relevant for identifying trading setups in the first place. Um, as humans, we do have a tendency to see patterns pretty much uh, everywhere. And um, if we look at classic uh, astronomy, only a minimum of uh, imagination here is <laughs> required to see the, the lion and the Leo constellation. Uh, same can be said for the scorpion in Scorpius and uh, the mighty hunter in Orion. Um, in popular culture, uh, we've uh, now arrived at a point where the Virgin Mary will show up uh, even on a piece of toast, uh, getting quite a bit of uh, media attention. Never mind uh, Photoshop and uh, advanced video editing software. Uh, we all believe in uh, weird things, and um, there's a lot of sociological studies and books uh, to prove that point. Uh, but in uh, evolutionary terms, patterns are used uh, to tell us something about uh, our current environment in order to make predictions for the future. So it's uh, important for our learning process and the ability to make decisions. But there is a catch here. Sometimes the patterns are real and other times they're just a result of chance. And therefore, constantly looking for patterns can also lead to seeing things that uh, really aren't there. Uh, still, identifying patterns, uh, even if they're not real, is uh, generally better than ignoring legitimate patterns. Uh, so if the deer ignores the warning here, uh, would uh, most likely be a deadly mistake. And so historically, the better choice has been to go with the false positive 
rather than a false negative. And that is uh, why our brains, along with uh, those of our fellow species, have developed into pattern detecting machines. And uh, coming up here, we'll uh, have a look at uh, how price patterns are used to predict uh, future price movements. Uh, but first, a uh, quick uh, intro to the type of bars uh, that are appropriate for candlestick patterns. Uh, basically, all candles tell a story about the relationship uh, between buyers and sellers. And even though all bars have a open, high, low and close, every candle is unique. Uh, there is never a bar with a identical timestamp and price action. And that's uh, important to keep in mind when looking at uh, different types of uh, candlestick patterns. Um, candlestick patterns are time-based primarily, uh, showing that uh, very little price action occurred in one candle followed by a lot of activity in the next. So uh, tight versus wide range type uh, comparison. And so therefore um, they're predominantly used on minutes or daily bars using a calculate on bar close approach. And as you see here, there's quite a bit of them and this is not even close to all of them, um, but uh, you basically have two categories reversal and continuation patterns. Uh, we discussed a approach for uh, continuation setups in a shark indicators presentation yesterday. So today we'll have a look at uh, potential reversal scenarios. Um, patterns uh, can form on one candle or in a combination of two, three or more bars. Uh, it's uh, also possible to use the patterns in combination with one another. Uh, for example, setting one bar, uh, a one bar uh, candle or one bar pattern as a, a premise, uh, looking for alignment with patterns uh, that form over two or three bars. So we'll start with the simple one bar pattern here, the long black candle and the long white candle. Name is a bit uh, confusing seeing how we use green and red plots uh, to distinguish, distinguish between bullish and bearish uh, price action these days. Um, but yeah, just to stay in line with uh, the literature on candlestick patterns, we decided to uh, stick with the original names. So I think uh, black and white bars were originally used for print purposes, uh, for publishing and and so forth, uh, expensive to do the, the color prints back in the day. So uh, they went for uh, hollow bars or white bars for uh, these bullish and uh, black for the bearish. Um, so the threshold for identifying this uh, pattern is uh, locating a candle body, which is um, greater than three times the size of the average in the look back period. Uh, closing against the current trend. So obviously a, a long white candle will um, have a close higher than the open, uh, whereas the long black candle has a lower close than the open. And uh, there is also a uh, wick uh, requirement here. It should be small in the direction of a close. So for uh, the long white candle, you want it to be here, uh, a small upper candle, upper, um, shadow or upper wick compared to the, the body size. And for the uh, long black candle, you should have a small lower shadow. So there will uh, often be quite a few of these one bar patterns. Um, and as a signal might not be the strongest uh, in terms of statistical probability. Uh, but uh, as mentioned, they can tell us that market conditions are changing and uh, set the tone for later patterns. Um, we'll come back to an example of, uh, of that in a few slides here. Um, also, seeing that we're talking about reversal setup, uh, you want to specify the long white candle to display during downtrends. 
uh, you can do that directly in the indicator dialog box. So you see here found in downtrends. And it is also where you uh, set the minimum uh, ratio of body size. So the default setting here, as I mentioned, is three times the average. Um, and the shadow size you can also uh, define here. Uh, so based on the uh, pattern specifications, you can uh, check the statistical probabilities in the top right uh, corner data box. Uh, that's good to know because uh, you can quickly determine whether this is a pattern that you want to consider. So you see here the uh, long white candle had uh, 549 occurrences on this chart. Um, yeah, NASDAQ 15 minutes here, uh, about uh, a yeah, thousand days look back here. And so on uh, average, we saw a return of uh, 9.3 ticks after three bars and 1.7 after five and 0 0.9 after 10. So the idea here is to establish a cause and effect relationship between uh, your entry point and what happened immediately afterwards. Um, generally, you'll want to see a reversal pattern contradict the current trend immediately. Uh, it's like with my, my wife, uh, when she's telling the kids to pick up their clothes or clean the room, she means uh, to do it uh, right now, not in the next uh, few days. So um, the same goes for reversals. You want to see, see a, a swift reaction here to these patterns. Uh, the next pattern we'll uh, look at is a two bar reversal. Uh, the first bar in a bullish uh, engulfing is a down close or a doji. Uh, the second bar has a large body uh, with an up close, much uh, more going on here uh, when compared to the first candle and closing above uh, the body high of the prior candle uh, for the bearish engulfing. Uh, first bar is a uh, up close or a doji. Um, second candle, large body with the down close below the body low of the uh, prior bar. So let's uh, head back uh, to the chart and see what this looks like and also look at how to establish uh, the trend here. A uh, 60 minute uh, NASDAQ chart here and the red paint bars indicate that the overall uh, trend is down. And for reversal specifically, we're looking for price action that contradicts the, the trend bias. So bullish uh, reversals um, is appropriate here. Uh, we see the uh, entire body of the small uh, candle here engulfed by the second. Uh, the idea being that uh, the small body bar shows us that the trend is uh, sort of running out of steam. Sellers are not able to uh, push prices further down. And uh, when a bar, a bar shows indecision like that and a very little movement uh, engulfed in the opposite direction, it points to a change in trader psychology. Uh, so uh, what about the trend? Well, most of you probably already guessed uh, the trend uh, indication is a internal zigzag indicator has the basic features of our premium swing trend indicator uh, displaying the minor trend based on a minimum deviation requirement. So we set it to the ATR uh, average true range calculation. You can also use average range, uh, use a uh, tick a point or percentage uh, thresh threshold. Um, yeah, but it's uh, the most important filter when uh, evaluating uh, candlestick patterns. Uh, here's a bearish engulfing plotting against uh, the uptrend. Again, a fairly small body bar engulfed by the um, large candle here and a down close against this trend bias. Um, for engulfing patterns, uh, the size of the large uh, candle and its uh, relationship to the preceding bar is important. 
Um, again, the, the patterns are defined directly in the indicator dialog box. So by default here, we have a minimum large body candle um, using a factor of 1.2 of the average in the reference period. Um, other candlesticks, uh, candlestick patterns will require small bars and uh, or dojis, and they too, as you can see here, are, are defined. Um, the impact uh, of any changes that you um, do to the settings here is immediately available in the uh, statistical probabilities data box. As far as I know, uh, this is not an option available with other candlestick tools, uh, at least not the ones that we've looked at. And it is a useful feature because uh, some patterns work on equity markets, but not so well on uh, commodities or Forex. Others uh, may show good results on daily bars, but uh, not be suited on faster timeframes. Uh, so coming back to whether a pattern is real or not, uh, this is uh, where you can uh, determine that. And uh, the engulfing pattern is challenging. It uh, shows up uh, quite frequently. So you might want to consider aligning it uh, with uh, areas of interest to improve uh, reliability. In this uh, scenario, we uh, added uh, weekly pivot levels. So I'm pivot trading. The general idea is to uh, buy support and uh, sell uh, resistance. And um, here the bullish engulfing plot at the second test of the weekly first support level and the bearish engulfing uh, plotting here at the prior week close. So um, if you're not familiar with these uh, support resistance level, they are calculated from the high, low, and close of the prior session. So based on objective price benchmarks and because of the simplicity and efficiency of the calculation, uh, they're still considered among the most reliable methods for determining key support and resistance. Okay, the uh, final uh, reversal scenario we'll look at uh, today is uh, the morning star and the evening star patterns. The morning star is a bullish three bar pattern where the first bar is a large body down close. The second candle is a small body, so indecision again here. And the third candle is again a large body with a up close above uh, the midpoint here of uh, the first bar. The evening star is then um, the bearish counterpart. Uh, first bar is a large body up close. Second candle is small. And the third candle, again, a large body with a down close below the midpoint of this uh, first bar here. Uh, here's an example from uh, a 15-minute uh, chart of the Russell uh, 2000 contract. First uh, bar here in the morning star pattern, large bearish candle confirming the downtrend here. Second candle is a small bar signal of indecision. And the third, a large bullish bar clearly in um, contrast to the small candle closing above the midpoint here of the first bearish candle. A more restrictive uh, definition of uh, this pattern would be the morning doji star. Uh, you would then have to have a doji here in the center. Uh, this is almost the case here. Uh, second candle has almost no body. Um, but yeah, again, the body sizes are defined in the indicator dialog box, and uh, that is what uh, determines uh, whether a pattern requirement is met or not. So a evening star here, a first uh, bar being a large bullish candle aligned with this uptrend here, followed by a small candle, indecisive, whereas the last candle here 
again, large going against the current trend and closing below the midpoint of the first bullish bar here. And uh, if anyone is wondering why I use this fairly dated chart here, it's uh, because I wanted to have both bullish and bearish patterns to display in one screenshot. So took a while to find that, but uh, yeah, it makes it easier to read and understand what I'm talking about here, hopefully. Uh, so again, uh, when uh, considering <clears throat> these uh, reversals, it's a good idea to combine with the uh, areas of interest to improve probability. Uh, we've uh, added uh, the pre-session high and low levels to get a better idea of what's going on here. As with the pivots, uh, these are objective uh, price benchmarks and uh, you're more likely to see a critical mass of traders positioned around these levels. Um, in this case, uh, the overnight uh, high and low uh, were set previously and when the morning star pattern appeared uh, shortly after this uh, test of the um, mid-level pre-session mid-level um, so was able to break through after that uh, regular open painted in here and then a failed breakout of the pre-session high evening star plotting right at that level and prices returning back into the overnight range closing here below the open i'm using the uh, premium uh, opening range here to display the night session um, the range will be different for a number of uh, instruments as it refers to the electronic session prior to the regular open and so what makes this opening range indicator useful is that it has its own data bank running in the background, pulling trading times, regular open, as well as pre-session times for all the major futures contracts. And you can also use this with the uh, e-micros and cryptocurrencies. As we've seen, it can uh, make sense to align uh, these reversal patterns with the uh, areas of interest using uh, objective and commonly known key support and resistance levels. But you can also combine one bar patterns with those that plot over two or three candles. So here we have a long white candle and uh, shortly thereafter a morning star pattern. So uh, one approach is uh, to apply the long white candle as a premise acting as a warning signal of uh, changing market sentiment and trader psychology. And yeah, when you see additional price action patterns lining up telling the same story, uh, in this case, back-to-back uh, -back, uh, bullish reversals, it, uh, it can add confidence. Here's the uh, opposite scenario, long black candle preceding a evening star reversal that serves as a precursor when uh, prices uh, retract from the new high here, giving the uh, evening star set up uh, more weight uh, was a second chance uh, here again with the long black candle followed by two consecutive evening star uh, patterns. So bottom line, when price action and various uh, patterns line up and telling the same story, it's less likely that it is a chance occurrence. So you can come back and think <laughs> about the two deers in the woods and all of a sudden more and more uh, people showing up in, uh, in orange uh, clothing. That's, that's sort of like what this uh, illustrates. Um, all right, so uh, can be a bit of a challenge to keep track of uh, various patterns across uh, different Time frames and instruments. So we've uh, included a candlestick scanner with this. It's a market analyzer template. By default, all 30 patterns are active, and all you really need to do is uh, add the markets and instruments of your choice. Uh, so with that, I'm going to wrap up the meat of the presentation and transition to the feature summary here. 
Uh, you can use this as a stand alone tool to identify, buy and sell opportunities or get it as a system add-on for existing setups, combining with other indicators. Um, as mentioned, there are 30 candlestick patterns for identifying reversals and trend continuation entry points, so far at least. <laughs> uh, the most uh, important filter is the internal zigzag indicator. Uh, filtering patterns based on the trend bias is not something that's available with uh, most other candlestick indicators we've looked at, at least not with market structure analysis, if anything, then using simple and lagging moving averages. Um, also, and this is important, you can configure the pattern definitions as you want here. So as we saw the size of the dojis, the small versus uh, large candles, and uh, also the wicks for the patterns where that's appropriate. Uh, you can also specify the relationship uh, between the candles and decide the look back period when determining the average uh, bar threshold. And then there is this uh, statistical probabilities feature of each pattern, which is a great starting point for evaluating whether there is an edge to it. And not to forget the market analyzer template for scanning of patterns across multiple timeframes and instruments. So the uh, launch special here today includes what we've discussed, the all new candlestick patterns indicator, as well as the indicator library. So list price for this is uh, 425 and at 345, uh, you get a discount exclusively reserved for our launch events. That means that you'll never see this price again, not even for, for Black Friday. Um, of course, if you're already a member, we will have a special offer for you in the membership section there. Uh, so uh, log in and check that out. Okay, so this is uh, where you register for the promotion lizardindicators.com forward slash candlesticks. And if you've been sitting on the fence uh, regarding a library membership, this is a pretty good opportunity to, to dive into it. Uh, so with that, uh, I think I'll just wrap up the presentation here. I will have the uh, special event up uh, until the end of the week. So head on over and uh, check that out. And uh, yeah, Tiffany, maybe you can drop the link in the chat here or the Q&A. So I everyone... absolutely can. Yeah, that'd be great. And then uh, I will open up the Q&A here, see if I can find that here. Or Tiffany, is there is there are the questions only in chat, or is there a Q and A as well, Q and A section? Those questions will be found in the chat room. Okay. All right. So I'm going to scroll back up here. And I provided the link in the chat room as well. All right. Super. Thanks. Uh, can you use this with the uh, Bloodhound templates? Yes, uh, our indicators are compatible with, uh, with the Shark Indicators products. As I said, we did uh, do a Shark uh, presentation yesterday and we'll do a follow-up on that. Uh, try to get it uh, done by the end of the week here. So uh, I'll show how you can combine this with, uh, with Bloodhound uh, in that. Um, Do these work, uh, indicators work for three, five charts? Not sure I understand that 
questions, but it's like I said, mainly for time-based charts. That's, uh, I mean, candlesticks, it's a, it's a very old Japanese tradition. So uh, all the observations that are, are made here and everything that's based on is, is time-based. And um, yeah, so you can use it on, on minute bars or daily bars. Uh, that's at least my recommendation. Um, is the indicator scanning for different candles and how will it appear? Uh, yeah, I think I showed this here in the, in the scanner. I'll just uh, go back here a little bit. So here you see I've set this to five minutes, 15 minutes, 60 minutes, 240 minutes and daily. So we will uh, look at uh, different uh, time frames there. Uh, any patterns valid on a five minute chart? Uh, my observation here is that uh, this is mainly effective on higher time frame charts. So starting with the uh, 15 minutes, um, 60 minutes daily, then the performance gets uh, much better. Not sure why that is, but I can imagine that it's it's possible to uh, manipulate uh, certain patterns. Uh, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but uh, I know that there are some um, uh, people that uh, that say that on, on small charts you can, um, or fast charts, you can manipulate um, a bullish pattern and then uh, trade against it, so to speak. Uh, for five minute charts, um, I have actually found uh, some patterns, one bar patterns uh, that work well on a momentum approach. So if you didn't catch um, uh, the webinar yesterday, you can check that out um, in the Shark Indicators channel that should be out soon. Um, is there a trial? Yes, you can uh, go to lizardindicators.com forward slash trial and then you can register right there. Um, is there a special for the indicator without the membership? No, there is no uh, special without the membership this time around. Um, so there will be a recording uh, of uh, the webinar that uh, Ninitrader will send out. And which system will it work on? I've mainly tested um, equity futures on this. Like I said, some patterns work well in some markets and not so well in others. So you'll have to um, yeah, check that in the uh, uh, data box there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty uh, well-known tradition this and um, uh, the, the tools that we provide are mainly, um, I mean, it's not something that we've uh, invented. What we've uh, found is most efficient is to use uh, the type of analysis that most um, traders use because then there will be a uh, self-fulfilling, an element of self-fulfilling prophecy uh, with it and uh, yeah, candlesticks uh, uh, are a part of that or their candlestick patterns, They some of them um, are very well known. So there is a critical mass of uh, uh, participants that will uh, that will act on it, especially in, in higher time frame charts. All right, let's see if I can scroll down, see some more questions here. Well, thanks for the kind feedback, guys. Appreciate it. So the special will uh, expire uh, over the weekend. Just that I uh, see you just uh, started a trial here, but uh, yeah, we'll, we usually do it like this. If you register for a trial, uh, you have automatically reserved the special pricing. So you have then another uh, week and a half to, to decide whether you want to act on it or not. Is there a list uh, of the indicators in the library? Uh, yeah, let's see if I can, uh, can get that up here. It's of course closed everything down uh, before we started here. But I'll share my screen here with the website. <clears throat> so you go to the library here 
And then uh, there is a link up here, all indicators. So that's a list of all of them. And then otherwise uh, they're here just by categories, oscillators, channel indicators, and so on and so forth. And then uh, there's also the premium suite. So you find the new candlestick pattern here and our other premium tools listed here as well. So I think that uh, pretty much uh, concludes the uh, presentation here today. Appreciate uh, the opportunity to present. Hope it's uh, been of uh, value for you guys. Um, if you have any questions that I get, didn't get uh, to answer here, feel free to uh, reach out over at lizardindicators.com in the contact form there. Otherwise, you can drop me a line at info at uh, lizardindicators.com. So uh, unless there are any more question, is there a shark webinar? Uh, that was yesterday. So <clears throat> if you go to, if you registered for it, um, Keith will uh, send out a link or you can drop by their YouTube channel and uh, the video should be up there in, uh, in not too long. So the special, there's an, uh, the time limit on that. Um, another question on that. So uh, we'll have, uh, yeah, that will expire on, on Sunday. <clears throat> So can you provide a link for the trial? Uh, it's basically the same as I showed you here, um, but uh, instead at the instead of candlesticks here at the end, you just type in trial. So that will get you to the registration form for the premium indicators. All right, so thanks for stopping in everyone. Um, Appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'm Chris Lassen logging off from uh, Berlin, Germany here. It's uh, approaching quite late, not as late as yesterday, but uh, doing back-to-back -back, uh, presentations uh, like this. It's, uh, it's a little bit taxing, but uh, a lot of fun too. So I appreciate uh, everyone uh, stopping by and uh, look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Thanks a lot and bye-bye. I'd like to give a special thank you to Chris of Lizard Indicators for a great presentation today. NinTrader Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value added service for our clients. So if you find value in these events, we hope you will attend them on a regular basis. We'd like to remind you the information provided in this was of Lizard Indicators and not of NinjaTrader. All information was for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we appreciate the time you spend with us. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we hope to see you in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us at Industrator Ecosystem, and again, thank you so much, Chris.